Hey everyone, today I'm gonna be review. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. This guy's not supposed to be here. Alright, come on, people. Where is it? Come on. This is not what I'm reviewing. I'm not reviewing this guy today. I need what I'm reviewing. I mean, oh, wait, wait, what? Wait, you have it? Okay, okay. Thank you. God. I'm so sorry, people. It is just so hard to find good help these days. Get rid of him. Today I'm gonna be reviewing an early release figure Dark of the Moon. Wheelie. Here is his old form. He is a wheel. Nothing special, just a wheel. For some reason, Hasbro decided to make him into a wheel. <laughs> yeah. Well, his name's Wheelie, so, yeah. It's a decent old form. I do kind of like it. In terms of a size comparison, here he is next to Recon Ravage. So, as you can see, I think he's more of a scout size figure, which is decent, so. Yeah, I'm gonna get that one off to the side. So, it's a decent alt form. It's a decent alt form. I mean, a wheel. Kinda lame, Hasbro. Kinda lame. <laughs> In terms of robot kibble, however, there's barely any. You can't see his head, his arms, or anything like that. It's all hidden inside here. So, that is really cool. I do like that. So, yeah, I mean, he is a wheel, so of course he's gonna roll. See, look, he's rolling and falling over. So he's rolling around, so I guess that is about it for Willie's alt form, because like I said, it's nothing special, it's just a wheel. So, to transform him, first you want to open up this section right here and fold it back. Now that you got this done, you fold that back again, and here you have Wheelie in his robot mode. It's a pretty simple transformation, I, it's, it's okay, but the robot form, pieces do pop off. I'm gonna leave this off. <laughs> so here's his robot mode. It's, it's okay. I'm gonna uh, even. I'm gonna level. Yeah, it's ugly. It is ugly. It doesn't look at all like Wheelie. Well, maybe this is what he's supposed to look in the movie, but honestly, I'm not sure. For another size comparison, here he is next to. Hold on. Fast Action Battlers Mudflap. Yes, I'm having trouble getting Wheelie to stand. So as you can see. He, like I said, he is an average scout size because these are mostly a deluxe size. So get him out of here. So, in terms of articulation for Wheelie, it's not much to it for some reason. This can, go, his waist can go forward and back, kind of like this, and can rotate and can do that. So it's kind of like one of those hula girls that you get for your car. Yeah. But there's not much detailing on it either, or paint apps. It's just so bland of a, of a robot mode. And one of the worst aspects about this figure, which Hasbro's going to get a lot of hate mail for this, um, you can't transform him back to his um, wheel form, literally. Like, watch. You fold this forward, you fold this back up, and that's just going to keep happening. This part's just going to keep falling off. And if it's not that part, it's that part. So, honestly, that's one big... <laughs> big, big problem with this figure. So, I just can't, I guess there's not really much left of this figure, except the fact that he makes your review space a mess. <laughs> so that's really about it. Oh, the head sculpt. I forgot to get the head sculpt. Here's the head sculpt. Looks like he's freaking tilting his head, and then his, he's got two big bulging eyes, buggy eyes, you know? So it looks like he's tilting his head like, huh? What's going on? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the head sculpt, so honestly, that's really it. Honestly, I cannot recommend this figure. He can barely stay together. He, he can barely skin. He, he can barely stay together. You cannot transform him back to his alt mode, and the alt mode is basically lame anyway. So I do not recommend this figure when you see him in retail. So guess that's really it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.